Ben-Hur filming site near Lipta, intended to be Jerusalem Metro Goldwyn Mayer, MGM, originally announced a remake of the 1925 silent film Ben-Hur in December 1952, ostensibly as a way to spend its Italian assets. Stuart Granger and Robert Taylor were reported to be in the running for the lead. Nine months later, MGM announced it would make the film in Cinemascope, with shooting beginning in 1954. In November 1953, MGM announced it had assigned producer Sam Zimbalist to the picture and hired screenwriter Carl Tunberg to write it. Zimbalist was chosen because he had produced MGM's Best Picture nominated Christians and Lions epic Quo Vadis in 1951. The studio then announced in July 1954 that production would start in March 1955 with 42 speaking parts and 97 sets. MGM said Sidney Franklin would direct, that the script by Tunberg was finished, that shooting would occur in Rome and in Spain, and that Marlon Brando was up for the lead. In September 1955, Zimbalist, who continued to claim that Tunberg's script was complete, announced that a $7 million, six to seven month production would begin in April 1956 in either Israel or Egypt in MGM's new 65mm widescreen process. By the late 1950s, court decisions forcing film studios to divest themselves of theater chains and the competitive pressure of television had caused significant financial distress at MGM. In a gamble to save the studio, and inspired by the success of Paramount Pictures' 1956 biblical epic The Ten Commandments, studio head Joseph Vogel announced in 1957 that MGM would again move forward on a remake of Ben-Hur. Filming started in May 1958 and wrapped in January 1959, and post-production took six months. Concerned that a roaring Leo the Lion, the MGM mascot, would create the wrong mood for the sensitive and sacred nativity scene, Weiler received permission to replace the traditional logo with one in which Leo the Lion is quiet. It was the first time in MGM history that the Lion logo was not seen roaring. 